Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Unity of Command 2 Moscow 41, the newest DLC out for Unity of Command 2, which is a turn-based World War II uh, war game and strategy game. Uh, this DLC puts you in the shoes of the Soviet Union during the 1941 counteroffensive in the winter, and this is episode number 5 in our Let's Play series looking at this particular DLC. Um, we are in the fourth battle, I think? of this particular campaign uh we're fighting the left left hook of the counteroffensive in front of moscow and uh it is turn number three in this particular battle uh we are doing reasonably well so far we've had a lot of success early in the southern portion of the battlefield the question is whether we can turn it around in the north because the germans are much more dug in there my general strategy is going to be to try and use the open terrain and open segments of the battlefield in the south to push north and then cut the germans off from their source of supply by cutting railheads and taking the objectives there and moving north and then starving the troops out in the north in their stronger positions until we can eventually take those particular spots as I said, it is the end of turn three right now for us. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right back into this particular battle. Okay, so those units moved and let's end turn number three and move to turn number four. Counter attack and overrun near Kaluga. Destroyed that lead armor or infantry division. And are attacking and overrunning into our flank there to the west of Tula. Okay, they put depots back in the south. They got rid of that depot. I don't like one mechanic I would like to see changed in this game is units that are surrounded should not be able to get rid of their depots. This unit's probably going to die, but it is cutting off supplies up to, to uh, HG Mita now, I believe. You know, all the armored units here in the south are completely without supply, so we can go ahead and... Re well, our own troops aren't in great supply, but we'll reduce them. Destroyed that enemy unit. Stalinogorsk is also... Without supply. So there's our infantry there to take that town. Okay, so Stalinogorsk is the next objective to fall, so now we've just got Kaluga over here, and then Narofominsk up here in the north as our remaining objectives, both by turn nine. So we have some time to figure that out. We should also repair some of these bridges. So this rail bridge makes sense to me. Southwest front repair any bridges. That rail bridge also. Just spent all my points replacing bridges, but most of them I think were good decisions. attack these guys effectively. Really gotta move up and use these veteran troops here. We didn't lose any casualties though, that was nice. There, we destroyed him this turn with only a couple of casualties. And I think the time that we saved doing that was well worth the cost. Wish I had some recon out this way.
let's hit this country with air, and that does nothing. seem to make any kind of impression out this way. Alright, we can cut supply to Noro Fominsk, I think, by advancing this one infantry unit. Let's see if that's true. They're an airborne corps, so hopefully they're better than just your ordinary troops. Do we want to take a few casualties here? Oh god, they wiped out the whole division? That was a bad estimate. It said two to one. That was one to four. Depot. I'm worried they'll counterattack and hit us here, but this will give the troops in this forward deployed area supply. And I think we'll drop the other two here. another attack with our armor there that one went exactly as forecast oh my god they wiped out another division troops out that way so we can flank the main centers of resistance make our lives a little bit easier what's the supply situation looking like here not great let's get these guys back into hexes where there's gonna be supply next turn for our new units that have arrived which kind of feel 
Well, maybe those aren't useful, useless if they come in on the north. Minsk. We're beginning to try and turn. Kaluga, I, I think I need to advance troops from the south here to cut it from supply. I don't think I can get at it with this narrow front. You know, let's see. So we could bombard Kaluga next turn. That being said, let's go ahead and move forward to turn number five. So far, so good. Things may be starting to stagnate a bit. All right, armored counteroffensive there. We didn't do any damage. They wiped out that cavalry division. At least they both used their attacks there. Bombardment on that infantry division, which was cut off. And they destroyed it along their supply line. The south did pull back, and they swung their armor north here from their blocking position east of Kaluga, out more directly defending that objective. Which is nice, because it actually opens up a bridge for my own troops to advance across some, some ground here. Did I lose the... Yeah, I guess I didn't realize I lost the troops with artillery. Way. We'll uncover these, these bad guys. That's our cavalry here. We're now approaching the secondary objective. The cavalry in this game is actually very useful for the Russians because of just their sheer mobility. They don't punch hard, but at least in this case, that's kind of a secondary concern. Okay, we just wiped out that German division. these three German units that advance there. pushing where we can. So these guys need to get on supply lines ASAP. guys off? No, we didn't. Huh. 
Well, we should have them surrounded now, or at least without supply. Norfolk. Really need like a pontoon here. Can I build pontoons with these guys? I don't think I have that capability. What about the Western headquarters? Nope. on this secondary objective. I'm curious to see if the enemy withdraws like they did last time. We haven't really done too much damage to them yet. Okay, I think we have a few more divisions coming online now. Where are they coming? Oh. There's a unit there. And I can't move them because I already used up my points. They all deploy there? Fuck. Alright, well, we'll deploy them next turn. We still have supply? We do. Okay. And I don't think there's any units here, so it's just this one unit, so maybe they'll pull back to the objective to try and hold it. But we're also just one turn away from potentially reaching this rail line and cutting all supply toward Kaluga, which would be nice. Not quite by the turn 11 minimum, though, or on time, whatever that really means. That's just about everything, so we'll end the turn. Yep, I have units en route, I'm aware. Right, the armor's gonna attack the... our four elements there and overrun and destroy yet another division. Man, Luga is just a freaking bloodbath right now. Oh no! Gonna cut our supply there and maybe take that depot. Our own advanced forces have become cut off from supply as well. well they didn't just they didn't take the depot at least. Interestingly enough, I feel like their armor's a little bit more exposed here, so let's see if we can't destroy it. destroyed another one of their divisions. I don't have the strength really to punish this armored division here though. So we just overran that unit here. You know what? I'll take those casualties. It's just a cavalry unit. They're nice, but they're not... Thing we have. 
now we can finish off what I think is the last German armored division here. Reopen our supply line to the troops here in the north, closer to Kaluga. Guess still not surrounded. That's annoying. Or drawing from supplies. All right, so the enemy has used up their last what I think is their last armored division. Hallelujah. so we can hopefully like bombard the guys or something. We've also moved up to a northern crossing here. And we have three more turns to take these other objectives on time. We have like seven more turns to take them, period. Now this is the part where I've got more troops than I have anything like I don't know what to do with. I don't have room at the front to move all these troops forward to where they might be most useful. I suppose we could swing some of these guys north to support the assault on Nago Forums, but I don't have Wominsk, but I don't have art artillery really in any of these units. So that won't be too useful. Rifle divisions come online here, so I need to move this cavalry division. These guys are green. Just what I need. Green troops. Alright, I now have these guys surrounded. So, it should start starving them out. troops. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Alright, so the German armor, we're still gonna have to take Kaluga, which given where the rivers are and the terrain is, that'll be not easy. They're gonna try and break out of their encirclement. They do manage to do that, but they do it by moving the unit out of Novo Formensk, which reduces its entrenchments. So it was fortress and now it's nothing which means I can probably take it I'm also kind of surprised they didn't move that one infantry division blocking this bridge near Sukulinski or how do you pronounce that I can flank them now should have bombarded first So we've broken across the river here. We still have supplies for these guys? Mostly. I need to move some guys forward. be able to cut off Kaluga next turn. Meanwhile, these guys are... So 
all of my troops suck, basically. I can't. I just, I'm gonna take massive casualties if I try to take the city. So let's go ahead and bomb it. Because I don't want them to dig in. I think the city's in ruins, and that's part of the problem. Shit. I mean, I've got divisions to spare in horrific casualty fights. Not exactly what I wanted to do. Lost a couple divisions trying to attack there. solve their supply problem, but it will also cause them to abandon their objective. Where are the depots? I need to pull some back. that division and clear that railway, it's worth it. Alright, I just need to figure out how to get more troops on the front down here in the south. I'll probably entrench too. take casualties when you've got that many troops it probably hurts my score so maybe not but that's kind of what I just did screw it I've got the manpower who cares about casualties yeah, that was kind of what we just did there Butcher's got a butcher. At some point in time, you know it's true. Right, let's get this guy up. Gets his artillery unit up to help with the attack on that town. Should get these engineers up that way too. of not getting my objectives on time now at this point. We're not making enough progress on these. Made no progress at all on Kaluga. We, we are... I think we'll starve out this mechanized force since they didn't counterattack this turn. Their cohesion will go down to zero and then we'll take it next turn. If we don't take it this turn. But Kaluga is a fortress and we have no progress there. Now 
any units with artillery that I can bring up? It doesn't look like it. Maybe these guys? Their next turn? I don't even want to risk them liberating these guys. Let's just finish them now. Let's these ours. guys adjacent to the city and hopefully they don't get counterattacked and all killed every objective except one so far on time we have one more turn do that meanwhile do we have a headquarters far enough forward here covers everybody in the south. I guess at this point the secondary objective is more valuable because it does have carryover effects to future scenarios. supplies back. Um, my cavalry there. Interesting, they uncovered Kaluga a little bit. Granted, it's still a fortress, so I don't think there's any way I reduce it in one turn. One suppression. Just one. That's all I get. I have till turn 11 to take it, so I don't have to do it today.
All right, we'll be able to take it before the, the battle ends, I think. Just probably not this turn. Definitely not this turn. very quiet because there's not a lot to do there's not much room left on the map either but it's also kind of a tough nut to crack where they're kind of pushed back they're all still in supply and they're just digging in and take this southern point first god we didn't turn it into rubble Can attack effectively. Fuck it. Attack and just take eat the casualties. All right. Took the city. No supplies out this way though, do we? Oh god. Right, pull some of those guys back to where we will have supply. Race some of these troops forward. Okay, so now we just need to move up and also can this, does this guy have any, can he repair any bridges? Doesn't really matter now for that bridge, does it? All right, can we take a look at this turn? Probably not, but can we move this headquarter forward? Let's support the troops up that way. Alright, so the engineers are at least going to be supported. Thank God, that's exactly what I needed. We now have the city surrounded. So there is no supply getting into Kaluga now. Because we took the rail line to the west. I think all of my artillery units pretty much either got got obliterated, all the toad artillery. Get those guys back in supply. Okay. 
Well, hopefully we can take the objective next turn. Some of our guys are going to starve out. Fuck. We could bring in more truck assets, but I have a hunch I'll need them next battle. So the point value we get for the city keeps decreasing each turn after the on time objectives end. But mostly it looks like they're just digging in the troops they still have. breached and reduced the fortifications there. We can't take the damn city yet. that are in supply here all not back so we got rid of one of their entrenchments started to wear them down I think I need to move this headquarters too still can't get everybody in range there but I think we'll go for broke and try and take it on turn 12. I know I'm losing points, but there'll be two turns out of supply and they've already been reduced a little bit. I just, I'm worried about turning the city into rubble. And I'll take two to one. We'll lose the engineer unit, unfortunately, but that's what we needed. And it is ours. So these guys should have supply next turn. I guess I can attack someone. All these guys are in fortresses, though, so I'm not planning on assaulting any of them. I don't want to take casualties that I don't need to for no purpose, so we'll end the turn. I'm assuming they won't counterattack, and then that should be a victory. And it is. There you go. So it took us 12 turns. We got all of the objectives except Kaluga on time, and then we also got the secondary objective, so we get the scenario completed. Tracks in the snow metal, and a score of 137. Enemy KIA 30 and 33 prisoners. We did lose 99 units, so we did suffer pretty heavy casualties. But it's a victory 
with the secondary objective accomplished. So we now have the right wing offensive as well. And I wonder if the secondary of, uh, objective being taken in the left wing offensive, maybe that opens us up to like an opportunity to destroy army group north. I'm not sure, but a victory nonetheless. The next battle is the right wing offensive. We will deal with that in our next video of this game. It is Unity of Command 2, uh, Moscow 1941, the Soviet DLC for this game. If you are interested, the game is on Steam. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Please leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, as always, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'm out.